Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to the weirdest dating sim I could find by Jaden Animations. Now, I have not seen this, but I do know about dating sims, and they're very weird. <laughs> they're they're very weird. I, I've seen I've seen some. A lot of them are just not very good, and others actually take it to another level where they take a dating sim and actually do something new with it. I, I'm thinking of like Doki Doki Literature Club, I guess, where they took a dating sim and turned it into a horror. But uh, yeah, I, I know about dating sims. They're weird, uh, but they can be funny. Like the the Rivals of Ether dating sim. <laughs> that one was funny. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, originally in the description, make sure to be Jaden Animations. Thanks for the description. Let's get right into it. Ah, uh, dating. Not a fan. <laughs> uh, but you know, Yo, dating the simulators can be the closest thing there is to dating without actually having a to go out and do it for real. Which can seem much more appealing to Yo, people like me. Yo, I know me, that VTuber. Who do not like people. Isn't that Iron Mouse? Believe it or not, dating sims are more popular Yo, than you Doki think. Doki Literature Don't believe Club? me? Yeah, I guess that's fair. <laughs> Among way, Us, Fortnite, endless yeah. plethora of different Minecraft. types of dating simulators out there. You can yeah. simulate dating anime girls, mostly anime, anime. Boys, evil anime girls, old rich chicken man. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Birds, oh yeah, I forgot about that too. To, and the horse thing, yeah, that thing. Virtually, I've never really oh, yeah, played that, or that wanted to joke. play dating simulators. That meme, the closest I guess. thing I've come to developing any sort of connection with virtual beings is being best friends with Chief in Animal Crossing when hey. I was thirteen. So I decided I want what? to see what they're like. You know, surely there's a reason the genre has roughly 22 million consumers. I mean, that's a few yeah, million I know short why. of the entire continent of Australia. You love bugs. But I didn't go out looking to play the generic normal games. I wanted to test the limits of game developers' creativity. Oh, and no. find dating sims that were... The Rexula? Conceptually really out there. They First ghost on the boo. table is speed dating for ghosts. As you can guess, we are starting out by dating ghosts. So how okay. it works is you choose a room to go into. So I'm guessing she's just gonna go from dating sim to dating sim and basically explain what they are. I'm remembering one dating sim. I think that's coming out recently. Isn't it like a dungeon crawler dating sim? I don't know. I think it was like something or other uh, in one of the Nintendo Directs. I don't know, maybe. I don't remember, but... You have a few minutes yeah. to chat with a ghost until a bell rings, and another one sits down in front of you. There's three okay. ghosts per room, and once you get the chance to chat with all of them, they all do another circuit, you can continue your conversations, and ultimately choose which one you want to go on a date with. I'm greeted by the speed dating receptionist, okay. Fran, who says, We get all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, spooky ones. It gets lonely being a ghost. And I say, I like being alone. And Fran goes, I've never met a ghost who doesn't need anyone no one to talk to it makes sense all of this i'm doing just fine thanks <laughs> you don't even want to make a friend? Yeah. Nope. yeah true and that led to me leaving the speed dating for ghosts event oh well okay i guess i can't be myself in these games after all oh, so dang. i lie and i'm given the choice to enter one oh, of three rooms oh dang that sucks the room of palms the room of liars and the room of black Okay. I just went into the room of palms. This huge buff jock ghost sits down in front of me, introduces himself as Riley. Okay. He to call me pretty hot for a ghost, to which I reply, slow down there, buddy. And Riley immediately apologizes. And now I feel bad. Guys, I don't think I'm <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think yeah and dating sims can be weird. Honestly, so they far. are weird. Riley and I chat a bit. The bell they can be cool, and I though. I meet this old smoking ghost who used to live in Vegas and was part of the Vegas Mafia until they burned her house down with her in it. The bell rings again, and this oh. giant bush ghost sits down. So this is Steph. She's anxious and introspective in a light and charming way. I'll be honest when I say I did really enjoy her conversations, but then you start to realize she doesn't really she's dead and a, a ghost and then the conversation turns more into just trying to hint towards letting her know she's not alive anymore i started learning japanese but oh. there's thousands of kanji characters to learn you've got an an eternity to learn if only i'll die before i learn the language you're already dead uh. <laughs> yeah you're right in a way we all are just waiting to die mm. you're dead are you threatening me? I'm gonna tell Fran. Steph finally catches on and then it gets super introspective. 
You know, I, I still feel alive. Just dissociated. Ouch! Ooh, Ooh! Whoa! Oh, that one was real out of nowhere. What the heck? You can't recite my own feelings to me like that. <laughs> I ran out and the event came to a close. Out of all the ghosts, I wasn't really drawn to any of them enough to want to go on a date. I like Steph, but she's got her own demons to face. Yeah, for yeah. Date. So back to the three rooms I went. For round two, I chose... Oh, there's like... Oh, there's Why? three in First each. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was like very scared of ghosts. the three were when all in the alive, different rooms. I used to be so scared of ghosts. And turns out they were real this whole time. That one was, you know, I feel like there was an overall ceiling going into it with how well that could have gone Ooh. no matter what. So, you know, then came okay. Spooky Peter and I was ecstatic. Why? Because a bird? Bird like Oh my ghost? god, he's so cool! He died from the bubonic plague, and now he's become a master at spooking people who are still alive. He's an actual legend. I'm blessed to be in his presence. He's a plague doctor? Books about him. I was getting spooking tips and learning about the mirror world when the bell rang and the shark ghost, Leon, sits down in front of me and leads with... Wanna make some money? Oh. Doesn't everyone? Exactly. Let's oh, he's a shark. Him. He's a card shark. So I meet up with Leon at the place he told me. I was a little bummed I couldn't chat more with Spooky Peter, but when someone invites you to join them in robbing a bank, dude, he's a card shark. No? You put everything on hold. <laughs> we we're getting ready to go in and we're chatting with Leon's bank robbing buddy, Carlsbad, who is explaining how he works at the bank we were about to rob so he can open the safe Dab's and knows long. where all the security cameras are pointed. I was reading it backwards when... to see if it meant like a different name. Spooky Peter! Leon recruited Spooky Peter to join the bank rob Yo. crew from the speed dating event as well. I'm nothing less than ecstatic and my mental Let's health go. is Let's at go. an all-time high. Which is the ideal circumstances what? for bank robbing. I'm guessing this is like the, the only day. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, there wasn't a, a huge pile of money like Leon was hoping. Like in the, you know, like in the cartoons and movies. But we were able to open a deposit box that had um, some lawyer documents in it and a 14 karat gold vanity mirror set. I gave the mirror to Spooky Peter. That was about all the time we had before we had to scram out of there. And even though it wasn't a, a huge Dad. pile of money, I think it was a pretty successful Oh wait, that person company. wasn't a ghost? We they were real? from the bank. That's what else do you want? And That's I got actually to cool. see Spooky Peter again. So, since I technically didn't go out on a date with anyone from the liar's room and robbed a bank instead, that leaves <clears throat> Dang, that one sucks. room left to find my spooky ghost partner. That sucks. Everyone in the room of black was very nice. There is a punk rock skater kid just looking to have fun with a new friend, a nice old pollen lady who makes jam for the living, and Gary. <laughs> Gary! Hello? <laughs> I bet. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, hello? No. Bad breath? Please. Uh. Oh, I'm what? so sorry. Oh. oh my god, this is embarrassing. I learned Gary's a vengeful ghost who was murdered at his office job, but doesn't remember how, why, or who did it. So naturally, I go along with him to find his murderer and avenge uh. his soul. Uh, turns out Gary was the murdery and stabbed his work partner and then was shot by the police. Oh! Mm. Well, he was very nice to me. Oh! Speed dating for ghosts. I made a lot of friends, but no That's virtual okay. ghost could win my heart. So we're, doing a, we're so going on to a different game? The Ratchelor. You know how the Bachelor yes, works. Yes, the Ratchelor. This is just that. In rat form. Oh my I've god. I've told these violet eyes of mine are more purple than all the lavender in the world. Yo, Biggie, Biggie Cheese? He's definitely getting, he's you definitely getting, definitely getting the rose. Dear, I can't say that I recall you mentioning <laughs> it, but how did you say you scored in the, the design. SATs? I got a 1570, which is quite good, if you didn't know. Wow, you're so different. You wanted to hear more about my work? Yes, sometimes what? I what is that? Saturday Night Live and also Wheel of Fortune and Dancing with the Stars. Ever seen Avengers by Marvel? I was the Avenger. Wow. Hmm. Meep. Meeple. 
Wow, <laughs> you're so different. It's time you meet my children. <laughs> Reggie 997, Evangeline, Esquire Jr., Sharpie, and Trash. Not Man. Reggie 997? Yuck. If you want my respect, you need to earn it. My whole life, I've had to make do by myself <laughs> and work for what I've got. And every time I've needed help, what? people let me down. <laughs> what is going on? Yuck. Honestly, as as much as I enjoy being here on The Bachelor, I can't wait to get back home so I can keep teaching my baking class at the local youth center. The kids are so sweet. Next up, I'm teaching them all to bake cheesecake. I hope you can come with me. I could bake you a cheesecake. The kids would love you. You talk a lot. I ended up proposing to three salamanders dressed up as a rat. All right, what's yeah, next? Yeah, I was wondering what dog? that looked like. Sure, why not at this oh, point? Oh yeah, this would game. Like yeah, I've, I know this game. This dating sim? No. You're dating a pug? Yeah, I've seen I've seen content one. creators do I'm this one a while back. Honest. I think Dan TDM did it. Because uh, like he like actually has pugs. I hate jokes. Pipe down and listen up. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. <laughs> I never wanted to again. <laughs> I thought so that was I've funny. Dating ghosts, rats, dogs. What else is there at this point? Uh oh. You're right. Namco video game characters. What? When I found out this sim lets you date Namco oh, characters, Namco I immediately thought of Figar from Dig Dug. I, <laughs> I, I just think he's really cool. I don't think they'd put Figar in there, but Dig Dug is part of the cast, so I started getting my hopes up that I could get to know Dig Dug. So in the game, you okay. play as a shy, awkward cousin from Katamari Damacy who attends Namco High. You end up being put in detention for rolling up desks, the entire marching band, cars, principal oh. Dig Dug. Wait. Wait, he's the principal? Ah, yeah, that's that's not gonna work. So <laughs> what? I'm bummed and on the verge of quitting the game. What's the point in playing if neither Dig Dug or Figar are romantic interests? Dang, but that's sad. That's a that's a that's a miss room, right there. To, one stuck out to me. Oh, Galaga shit. yes, yes. And suddenly it's all 100%. Yes, 100%. To Galaga ship and naturally Galaga ship is Audi, 100%. The popular characters. They're talking about the school play and how they all think Galaga ship is perfect to play Juliet. And thus began my 100%, plan to get into yeah. the school play to Honestly, Romeo and Juliet kiss Galaga I'm not a fan ship. of Romeo and Juliet. 100%. That would make it better. Go, if Galaga ship no, was I'd actually in Romeo and Juliet, that would make the, the play so much better. And that's exactly what I did. The next day was the little school festival to show off all the clubs and stuff. Naturally, I went straight for the drama club and found Galaga ship manning the booth. I want to join. Auditions are in the auditorium. I want to be Romeo. Read your lines. Alas, that love. Whose view? Romeo's understudy. Bam. Ep good enough. Now I have an excuse Romeo's to understudy, practice isn't it? Galaga ship who did land the Juliet role because they're perfect in every of way. Of course, the yeah. moves along and I meet up with Galaga so ship to rehearse our lines. Well, So is lines. he Benvolio you know, or is he Mercutio? But Dig Dug finds us in the auditorium and thinks we're skipping class for some reason and gives us both double detention. So the obvious next step for me was to sneak onto Galaga ship's property at night and discreetly start apologizing for getting them into double detention. But then their parents find us being secretive and suspicious and ban me from ever talking to their child ever oh, again. What? It starts raining. Then Pac-Man, who has not been a character in this story at all up until this point, what? shows up and tells me to be true to myself. Okay, I go home. The next day at school, we what? find out suddenly Pac-Man has been kidnapped by evil Namco High. <laughs> what? I don't even know where the story is going anymore. What? Galaga Ship and I team up and beat everyone up. I think, like all the students and teachers, we rescue Pac-Man, and that's the end. <laughs> the end. I'll be honest, that one was a bit... <laughs> what? I, I think it lost me there. Yeah, you think what? think a game where you can date Galaga ship would have a clearer story. After all uh, 100%, the I agree. I just that, that's through, that's facts. I think... I feel weird. Were they all fun? Yeah, I'd say so. But, yeah, maybe going for the strangest ones... I, I guess I got what I asked for. Yeah, Either true. Way, it was a nice experience was I his name gary the like the weird ghost dating simulators <laughs> it is unfortunate i didn't end up finding my perfect virtual relationship but hey there's plenty of ones and zeros in the sea but i do not think i will be Yo, donation my line again anytime soon 
However, I could go for another bank robbery. Oh, uh, okay. Yo, this video was awesome. This video was awesome. I loved it, honestly. It was so fun. This one was so fun to watch, honestly. Just seeing her go from game to game and basically just make fun of it while also having gameplay of her playing it and like her reaction to it is great, honestly. It, this one was so funny. It was so good. So I enjoyed this one very much, honestly. I had, I had a good time. It was very good very well made and yeah honestly it was really good that that's really all i have to say about it it was just fun it was a great video but yeah anyways guys if you guys enjoyed the like and share my channel see you next one bye